Hello guys, here I am going to demonstrate how to set up Boto3 in less than 5 minutes. Those who are not aware of Boto3, it is AWS SDK for Python. You can manage all AWS services using Python. Boto3 is the latest version of Boto. Now first thing you need to ensure is that Python is installed on your system. If it doesn't, then go to python.org, download and install Python. Once you have Python installed, go to command prompt and check the version. Now here is my command prompt. I'll type python-v. Now it displays the Python version. The version which I have installed on my system is 2.7.2. .2. Now next comes the installation part of Boto3. Python provides a utility to install Python packages and that utility is called pip. You can use pip to install Boto3. Just type pip install Boto3. Now it will install Boto3 with the latest release of Boto3. Now you can see I already have Boto3 installed on my system that's why it says that requirement already satisfied. Now when you install Boto3 using pip it will take care of all the dependencies as well. Now once you have Boto3 installed, go to AWS console, navigate to IAM service which is called Identity and Access Management and create a new user. Go to Users, then create new user, let's call it User2. And make sure that you enable this option which says generate an access key for each user. So you can display the access key and secret access key for that particular user. You can either download the credentials or you can just copy paste this. Now once you save your credentials for the user, just close this one. Click on the user which you just created and click on attach policy. Now here you have to attach a corresponding policy. I mean it it configures the level of access you want to provide that particular user. For now I'm granting the administrator access. So that's all done. This is a user that you created and the credential that you just generated. These credentials are going to be configured in Boto3 so that you can access your AWS services using Boto3. Now go back to the home directory on your system and create a folder .aws in your home directory. In .aws folder there are two files that you can see. The first file is the credentials which I'm just going to open for you. This file contains the access key and a secret access key. So whatever the credentials that you generated in the last step, you just have to configure those keys here. And that's all. The next step is optional, but you can create another file called config. So this file is used to configure the default region of AWS, which Boto will always connect to. If we want to override this setting, then provide the region name explicitly while connecting to AWS using Boto3. Now once that's done, you have to open the Python shell and import Boto3 module. So this is my Python shell and I'm going to import Boto3. Once we have Boto3 importer, now we are going to test the credentials and the setup that we just did. We try to connect with one of the AWS service. Let's connect with S3. Now try to list out all the buckets in S3. So I'm just printing the bucket name whatever I have in my S3. So here you can see there's one bucket and that has been displayed. So that confirms the border setup has been done correctly. So that's the way you can configure your border in the system. 
and uh, then connect with AWS services and uh, start writing some scripts. So that's all guys. That's the way you can configure Bottle and if you like, you can just hit the like button or you can also subscribe to my channel or you can also visit www.kblearningacademy.com for more updates and news. Thanks for watching this one.